catching babies. Oh. <laughs> season two. Welcome to season two of Catching Babies. Last season, I had the experience of working under a midwife, Joni, and I actually got to taste firsthand what it would be like to actually be a midwife. It was overwhelming at first. I learned how much time and how much dedication midwives actually put into their moms and their babies. I mean, it's amazing how much time she would dedicate and how much she would give of herself and of her knowledge to each mom. It was an amazing experience. On top of that, I realized how much it would take for me to seek out the education and the certifications that I would need to be at the level that I need to be at. As we begin season two, I'm excited to say that we're going to be establishing goals for each of our webisodes. For example, uh, this episode, we'll be talking about how to find your birth network, or I would say how to find the birth community that fits your needs as a mom or as a pregnant woman, whether that be a natural birth, whether that be a birthing center, midwife. What would a mom have to ask or type into Google search when she wants to know more about natural birth? Different ways that you can find these resources in your community. As you may recall, I am in the same boat yet again, just as many other mothers who are in a new place looking for a birth network of their own. I'm officially relocated in Odessa, Texas. Yay. <laughs> I did have a culture shock, but it's beautiful here. People are very nice and I'm excited to start looking for the birth community here. Before I left Florida, I had the chance to attend a birth conference, which is my first catch and maybe sit on how to find the birthing community that's right for you. Here's what attending a local birth fair is like. And it's an example of what I'll be doing here next in Texas. Check it out. Ooh, thank you. Some good stuff in here. Um, I run South Florida Birth Network and um, I own my agency. I started this just because of the need. I've had home birth, birth of a midwife, and a hospital birth, and I just felt like there wasn't enough resources out there who were unbiased and evidence-based. And a birth care was kind of a big bang to get everything out at once. Very soon we'll be opening Holistic South Pregnancy and Birth Center in South Florida. We will be doing water births, childbirth classes, and it will be South Florida's newest and safest birth center because we are directly across the street from Jackson South Hospital. My name is Eunice. I am a licensed midwife. I catch babies at home, water birth, or what we call land birth, which is outside of the water. And I've been doing this for almost 10 years now. So, got a little bit of mama that I've helped. And these are all our rods. These are maternity. I do have the capability of going up to cup size M. Glad I found out because this is a great event and hopefully there'll be more to come in the future. If the community can continue to grow, in this way, and forget it. If the impact that we'll make on the birthing community is going to be amazing. So how did I even find out about this birth conference? How am I going to find out about the birth networks here in Texas? Search online. I actually joined and followed groups that had to do with natural births, birthing networks, birthing communities. Simply by typing in natural birth, home births, uh, midwives. These are all keywords that once you type in, whether that be on Facebook or Google, different communities will start popping up where you can sign up for an email list, subscribe to monthly emails about different events or different groups that get together on a monthly basis, join the community, connect with moms, connect with birth professionals, because it's gonna steer your birthing plan into the direction that you want. Don't stop asking questions that you want the answer to. Ask friends, other moms, other pregnant moms, moms who have 12 kids, moms who have one kid, Talk to birth professionals, whether that be doulas, midwives, doctors, whoever. Don't be afraid to ask the questions. 
just remind yourself that you have a goal and your goal is to have the best birth that you could possibly have. Catching Babies is super excited to announce a newfound partnership with midwife101.com. This website is a one-on-one -on -one tool that allows you to have the expertise and the experience of a midwife at your fingertips. How amazing is that? From birth to breastfeeding to nutrition, midwife101.com is a resource to any mother, whether you want to have your baby at home or in a birthing center. Catching Babies had the chance to hang with the creator of Midwife 101. So check it out. This is my office. This is where it all happens. My feet print, my books of knowledge. I'm dehydrating, placenta pills. <laughs> it's really good stuff. My name is Galena. Um, I am a licensed midwife in Florida. I have five children. Well, I've been in the field for about six years. I've had my own home birth practice for three years. Um, it's called P3 Birth. And I'm very lucky that I have been able to establish a home birth practice. I've got a great support team around me. I really just wanted to help women not have a child that suffered. So my thought was, well, where's the earliest that you can help someone uh, in, in utero, you know, the, the development, the initial development. So this is what I take to all of my regular prenatal visits, right? I've got everything in here. I've got all my blood work stuff that I can do, fetoscope, all that good stuff in here, all my herbs. My cord care for the baby's cord. I have all of my blood supplies and birth kits. I've got my midwife mobile. This is my birth bag. This is the pool. This is my oxygen. Always gassed up as well. I wanted to be able to reach moms on all different types of levels, so then we created Midwife 101, the online childbirth classes. It covers pretty much everything from what to expect, wherever birth place you're choosing, home, uh, birth center, hospital, doesn't matter. We go over all the stages of labor. Everybody who is a member, they can talk to each other. I wanted to, to create a community, and I thought, well, I can't just do it locally. I can do it online too now. The beauty of it is that you don't have to go off of anyone's schedule except your own. You have access to the series, the complete series, for one year. Each segment is very focused on what we're talking about. For the nutrition portion, we have a registered dietitian, Elizabeth Seeley, who covers all the areas of pregnancy and after, what to eat. There is a breastfeeding portion um, taught by my IBCLC, internationally board certified lactation consultant, Sandra Labana. And then myself, licensed midwife, who will go over the stages of labor, what to expect. The series also goes over techniques for dads or partners in general. It doesn't have to be a dad, it can be any kind of partner. I always say it's like I try to fill up your tool belt in labor and whatever you can whip out at that time, at least you've got it full. I feel like it's a, a duty as a midwife to provide that community uh, education and that knowledge. You're not doing it because you have to, you're doing it because it's what our role as a woman and as a midwife is to do for other women. I hope you enjoyed watching this webisode on catching babies. Um, I encourage you to check out midwife101.com so that you can get the online childbirth education that I offer. But most importantly, I hope you have an exciting, empowered, and happy birth. Stay tuned for a special link at the end of this video for 20% off of your membership with midwife101.com. I hope that today's tips can be helpful as you search for your own birth network. As I'm continuing my adventure of educating myself and bringing all of this information to you guys, my own experiences have also been very positive and I'm excited to continue spreading the message of positivity from my natural birth. Keep following me on my adventure along with messages from Joni, new midwives, doulas, and others in the birthing community. So I'm excited to leave you guys today with a new Catching Baby story from Brooklyn, New York. Sionine has had two home births. I'm excited to share this story with you and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. My name is Sionine Lorenzo. I live in Brooklyn, New York. I have two kids. My oldest is Gala Lucia. She's three. And I have a three-month-old boy, Gael Matias. Both of my kids were born at home. Um, Gael was born right in this house where I am right now.
first time I really heard about home birth um, was while I was pregnant with Gala. I made the choice to do a home birth pretty late in my pregnancy. I was already eight months. I really lucked out with my husband being on board from day one. I had started with my OB and wasn't happy with the service. I felt very um, rushed, like in and out in 15 minutes. So I started doing a lot of research online on home birth and you know, if everything's fine with the baby and the mother, that it's, you know, pregnancy isn't a medical issue. It's a very natural process. And it just didn't seem like, in my case, it was necessary to be in a hospital. So I spoke to my friend that was planning a home birth, got referred to a midwife, called her at eight months, hysterical crying because I didn't know if she was gonna take me. I was so late already in my pregnancy. We spoke on the phone for an hour. She completely understood my situation. We had a visit and she took us on. We were very lucky because she was also the perfect match for us. For me, I wanted more of an intimate experience with the person that was caring for us. I wanted more answers. I wanted to be able to have conversations. I, I didn't want it to feel like, you know, I have a, the flu, <laughs> you know? <laughs> My first home birth experience, everything went really, really well. It was very fast. From the time my water broke to the time she was born it was two and a half hours. A lot of other mothers hate me for that, but <laughs> that's how it was. It was really amazing. But there were some scary points to it. Meanwhile, you know, being at home with an amazing midwife, it was never a thought like, we have to go to the hospital. The best part of my first home birth experience was being able to just be the three of us, me, Gala, and my husband, in bed together that night. My second birth experience with this beautiful little baby you see right here, Gael. As soon as I found out I was pregnant, I got in touch with my midwife. I actually emailed her before I even woke up my husband to tell him I was pregnant because I wanted to make sure she was available and she was. So it was a really beautiful experience having her care for us the entire time. And all of that helps you to feel confident the moment of, you know, the big day. Come get your baby. His birth was a little bit longer, five hours, so double the time of Gala, but still fast. I think in time, you build up the strength, the more research you do, it's important to hear about people that have done it. Um, at home, I think that helps you build strength. Whoever your partner is, and, and your midwife, as long as you know you can trust them 100%, then, then you're fine, and you just trust your body to do what it knows it's supposed to do.